Hi you guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Vanessa, also known as Nails by Rico. If you are new here, please make sure to subscribe and turn on my post notifications for more videos. In this video, I'll be going inside to show you guys a nail room tour, which is highly requested from a lot of you. And I'm outside of my nail room right now because I am not home based. I have just got here. I do not work at home and a lot of people always wonder that, but I do not. And I know I have not filmed in a while. And that's because my schedule can get pretty busy, but I do want to monitor my time to start filming more because I do enjoy that a lot. And at the end of this video, I will be having a special giveaway for you guys. And I'm super excited to give this out because it is customly made by me. So yeah, make sure to stay tuned for that. And if you want to see, then keep on watching. <laughs> Okay, so I already unlocked it, and then when you come in, this is what my clients see. Okay, so I'm going to start off with the seating area, which is if they need to bring an extra guest. So basically, I just have two chairs, and these chairs are perfect. Oh my god, I got them from Ross, and they caught my eye right away just because they have gold to them, and I wanted the gold accent in here, and it just all came together. And then I have this little stand right here that I put my business cards on and then I have a plant on top and then this canvas on top and it all looks so cute together. So on the opposite side, I decorated this super cute area and I just have like all these little things put together. So I have these two picture frames on each side. I got the pictures from Pinterest. They have a lot of really pretty pictures on there. And then I just have a mirror, which I have linked to my Instagram highlights. If you want to go look at that, it's under PR and then I have this vintage water tank or whatever it's called um and I'm not sure where I got it from I took it from my mom because she never used it and it was still in the box and I just put it in here I honestly never fill it up and I always say I am but I just forget to but hopefully that becomes a routine for me and then on the side of it I have these little cute decor pieces also from Ross and then even this little table underneath and then I have a gold trash can right there just in case I do fill it up one day and people need to throw their cups away <laughs> and then i just have this white furry thing what i put in here is just like some random stuff like i know right now i have um oh i have a fur rug that i used to take my pictures with and then i have a couple practice hands in there and then lastly i just have these green vines that i got off of amazon which i love because i just think that it all comes together with it and i do have it in my amazon storefront list if you want to go check that out and so next to my desk area, I just have this nine cube thing that I put my decorations inside of. I just put like my practice hands or not my practice hands. They used to be considered my practice hands, but now I just use them as models. But I just will leave them there so that people can look at them when they're getting their nails done or something. And then I have just more little fingers and then cute little decoration pieces right there. I also have my purses right here that I have used for nail fees before on my clients but I just leave them there because like it's a little personal touch and because this is like my second home so if I ever need it I'll just come here and I'll get it but I also have this cute flower wall everyone always asks me if I put it together individually which I do not it came in sections and I also have it in my Amazon storefront list but it's super easy to put together and it looks so amazing and yeah, just have it right there. I think it matches my room perfect. And this is where the magic happens. So my client sits right here and I sit on that side. And I'm just going to show what's on my desk first. So right here, I just have like my hands, hand lotion. Everyone loves that one. And then I have hand sanitizer. Because yeah, we definitely need that right now too. And then right here, I just have all the basics, you know. So I just have this ready for if I have a client that's about to come. And then over here, I have my clear acrylic, and then I put my brush cleaner and monomer inside there. And then I have my little drill bits, which I like to keep on top just because I hate going in my drawers back and forth to get that. A lot of the stuff I have on my desk right here is from Amazon, including my tripod and my light. And then under my mat, I have a little vacuum for the nail dust. On the right, I just have this little organization thing that I leave my go-to nail brushes and then also my nail brush that I have in here to dust off their hands. But yeah, these ones are my go-to that I use on a lot of nail designs. And then to my client's left, I just have the UV light right here that they put their hands in for the last step and that's like the most exciting part. 
So on my side, I just have these drawers that I fill with my most useful products that I need. It's this like little cabinet thingy. Right here, I just have this little backpack. Um, if I'm being honest, I don't even remember what's in here because I haven't opened it in so long, but let's see. Just found this note that I had folded and put in there for my younger step sibling. So when you go inside, I put my monomer, my breast cleaner, my alcohol, my acetone, that's all right there. And then I have all my nail tips right here. The ones I mostly use are on the top, of course. And then at the bottom, I have my napkins. These napkins are super absorbent. So in here, I have a bunch of prepping stuff. I have my primer, my glue, my foil gel, my top coat. I have all of that in this drawer right here. And I put them in little plastic things so that I can kind of keep them organized. My second drawer is where I keep my nail drill at and my sanding bands. And then I have like these things that I use to wipe their nails afterwards. They're lint free. After I'm done using like the tools and everything, I'll put them in here. I do leave my sanitization stuff in the restroom, but when this does get filled up, I will just clean them for the next day. And then in here, I just have more for like my client. I have my gloves right here. So before each client, I'll just go in this drawer. And then this is like where I have just like my extra stuff and extra files that I use. I don't ever use it on my clients. I just use it like on me or like if I'm working on something else. And then I have extra nail tips right here. Just in case I run out, I have them individually right here. Under my gloves, I have these little swatch things for gel polishes. And then I just have all my nail art brushes in here that aren't my go-to on top of my desk. And I just leave them right there. And then this is my acrylic powders. So I have it visible for anyone who comes in here already. So like they could just tell me oh i like that one or i like that one you know and then i have my glitters right here a lot of this is mia secret the mia secret collections and then i have more glitters up here i have my speaker right here that i got off amazon and i purposely got it because it lights up so i like how it matches my led lights up here right behind my chair i just have my gel polishes um this is valentina and then right behind my chair i just have my gel polishes um this is valentino and then my valentino powders and yeah more gel polishes so that's where that stuff goes and then for more decorations i had got this drawer from ross on the top i just have room spray called summer vibes <laughs> i'm gonna miss summer so much i'm gonna need to get a fall one now then in this there's just five drawers and they're all filled with just decorations i try to keep it the most organized that i can so right here i just have all my stickers and stuff and i also keep a little book in here with sequins that i buy that come in little bags so those are all in there so in my second drawer i have more acrylic powders but these ones are like the main ones that i use so i have like soft white in here clear and then a bunch of nudes and so yeah those are just like the main priority ones that i have and then my third drawer i have a bunch of these things that you can find from amazon sd aliexpress online instagram businesses oh yeah it just has sequins in here i have butterflies flowers piercings foils and yeah and then i have these transparent glitters which are super pretty i use them on a lot of sets and then i just have like a couple chromes in there and then here's just like some circle <laughs> i don't know what you call them but I don't really use those actually, they just, <laughs> they're just there. So in this fourth one, I just have a bunch of rhinestones. I have Swarovski's or just normal rhinestones. And then I have pearls. I'm in love with nail supplies. <laughs> and then I also have these charms too. So if they ever want like a special touch or blinged out set, I'll just go in here. The last drawer is more decorations, but it's mostly foils. So I just have foils right here. And then I have more foils in here on the side. And then this is all foils too. And then this, I don't really use it, but it just comes with like little heart sequins and all that. And then underneath, I just have more little sequins and I put just like my extras in there. And then underneath that is some glitters. So yeah, that's the last drawer. Okay, so 
that kind of includes everything in my nail room tour besides the other side of it i have some extra space on this side which i did not show because it doesn't look ready right now so i don't want to show it but hopefully soon i can and so now it's time for the giveaway this giveaway will include free press on set that matches the cuticle oil so it's going to be like these little color bundles i will show a clip right now And so the rules are, you have to be subscribed to my YouTube channel, which is this one, and you have to turn post notifications on. And then you also have to be following my nail page on Instagram, which is at Nails by Rico. So make sure to go do that. And when you're done, you have to comment done under this video with your Instagram username so that when I announce the winners on my nail page, I will make sure to tag you. That's how you know you're the winner. So those are the rules. They're pretty simple, so make sure to participate. And I will have four winners. So I'll have two winners for my YouTube and I'll have two winners for my Instagram. And you can participate in both. Two color bundles will have the colors pink and red and then on my instagram it would be baby blue and pastel yellow and so that's the end of this video i was super excited to film this for you guys because i knew a lot of you guys were waiting for this and wanted this from me so hopefully i will get this part done pretty soon i hope you guys enjoyed it i really appreciate if you've made it to the end and have entered my giveaway make sure to like comment and subscribe and make sure to comment some ideas for me to film next thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you next time Oh, <laughs>